Hello y'all. This is Failure Reich, also known as Failure Reich Stalemate, a mod for Hearts of Iron 4 that asked the question, what if no one really won World War I? We're on the select country screen now, and the feature nations here are the French state, the United States, the British Empire, Spartacist Germany, the Social Republic of Italy, Japan, Russia, Canada, Soviet Hungary, Nationalist China, the Bayong government, the Turkish Socialist Republic, and Phalangist Poland. This modification starts in the year 1936, and here is some lore for it, if I understand it correctly anyway. And so in Failure Reich, Hungary, well, Germany, and Hungary collapsed under communist revolution. The German Kaiser fled to Tanzania. He's right over here. And the white movement in Russia survived. Lukochak destroyed democracy. And the Third French Republic collapsed after some kind of civil war revolving the communist. And now there is the French state and the French empire and the Ottoman Empire collapsed under communism and the USA collapsed because of a second American the second American Civil War that may or may not be related to the Great Depression and going to our political tab now we have a few different ideologies and they are anarchist syncreticism syncreticism there is vanguardism socialism centrist capitalism the reactionary reaction is reactionarism ultranationalism and that is it okay so I think there's a possibility the developer of this mod did not have English as their first language which isn't a bad thing but it just the typos at the there's typos at the very least I think I'm just I believe they are typos, because I'm not sure if a faction is supposed to be called Axe. I mean, it could intentionally be, but that's just a very interesting choice for a faction name. And going to the political tab once more now, the laws and government, and the research and production and military staff is like in vanilla, hoi four. Then for research, it is just like vanilla, hoi four. Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and go over all the factions now in the world. And there are a few. First, we have Axe. And Axe consists of the British Empire, the French state, the Social Republic of Italy, and the Vatican. Then we have, say, we have the Old Entente, and that is Canada, the French Empire, Portugal, India, Australia, New Zealand. Nigeria, Uganda, Kenya, British Malaya, Sudan, the Canadian Congo, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, and Gabon. So what is left? We have only, I think, one more faction remaining when you start when you start Failure Reich, and that is the Third International, and that is Spartacist Germany, Soviet Hungary, and Red Finland. And let's go over all the countries in the world now and go on a world tour. We'll begin in Africa first and here we have the Kingdom of Morocco there's the French Empire they're guaranteed their independence by Canada we have the Spanish Empire they're in like Spanish Morocco we have the Kingdom of Libya the Kingdom of Egypt the British Empire definitely kind of fell apart in this timeline without a doubt we have Sudan they're a puppet of the British I mean Canada they're a puppet of Canada the Central African Republic is a puppet of Canada so is Cameroon and Nigeria. We have Liberia, there's Gabon, the Canadian Congo exists here. There's Kenya, the German exiled government. They are guaranteeing the independence of Sweden and Norway. Well, not Norway, but Austria for some reason. There's Ethiopia, the Somali Sultanate. Here is Portugal with a connected Angola and Mozambique. Very interesting to see that. They took over Rhodesia it seems and we have an independent South Africa Portugal is part of the old Entente faction it looks like and here's a Republic of Madagascar well the Republic of Madagascar who's independent and before we get over to Australia 
Let's head to South America and see what's going on there. We have Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, the Second Empire of Brazil, Bolivia, Paraguay, Argentina, Chile, and Uruguay. And all these countries are guaranteed their independence in South America with, oh, okay, I guess Canada is guaranteed their independence as well by the USA. And Canadians control what was, I guess, the French and Dutch territories and the British territories in the northern portion of South America. And let's go over to Australia now and make our way into Asia through this route. So we have Australia, there's New Zealand, both of these countries are puppets of Canada. We have Indonesia, and what is this? Oh, Canada controls some land in this region of the world in Oceania. There's the Philippines, subject of the USA. Here's British Malaya. There's Japan and Indochina and Southeast Asia. They're fighting against the Democratic Republic of Vietnam in 1936 here. And Vietnam is led by Ho Chi Minh. There's Siam, there's Burma. Let's go into China now. And it's nationalist China versus the Bayon government, I guess, maybe. At least they're, they're rivals at the very least. We have Tibet. Saibai Senma, there's Xinjiang, and here is the greater, well, the Great Mongolian State, and it's led by Roman von Ungern, and that's very interesting. We have Korea, well, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, and they're fighting a war with Japan. So Japan is fighting both Korea and, well, Communist Korea, and, well, I guess, Syncretic Korea, and Vanguardist Korea, well, Vanguardist Vietnam, so Japan, when you first start, Failure Reich is very busy, to say the least. And going over to the Indian subcontinent, before we get down there, once more, we have Tibet, Xinjiang, there is Bangladesh, they're an independent state, Bhutan, Bhutan, I mean, Nepal, there's India, they're part of the old Entente, here's independent Hyderabad, the British are on Ceylon, Here's an independent Punjab, Punjab, Kashmir, here's Pakistan, there's Afghanistan, there's the Emirate of Bukhara in Central Asia. We have the People's Republic of Iran, and going more into the Middle East and the Caucasus. We have the Transcaucasian Federative Socialist Republic. We have Iraq, Kurdistan, the Kingdom of Syria, the Turkish Socialist Republic, and they are guaranteed their independence by Spartacist Germany. Here's the Emirate of Nij. There's Ikhwan, the Ikhwan, the Emirate of Jabal Shamar, the Kingdom of Hejaz. Arabia is very divided in this timeline by 1936. We have Yemen. We have Canadian Aden. And here is Oman. Let's go into Europe now. And it looks like the British Empire, the ultra-nationalist British Empire controls Cyprus. But we have here, we have Russia, their, their independence is guaranteed by Canada. We have Red Finland and Scandinavia, there's Sweden, did they take part of Norway? What in the world happened there? Whatever. So there's Norway, we have Denmark, and Canada is guaranteeing both Norway and Denmark for some reason. And moving more into Central Europe, we have Falanges, Poland, they're guaranteed their independence by the British and the French. Here's Soviet Hungary, there's the Legion of Romania, they're guaranteed their independence by the French and the Polish. We have the Socialist Republic of Bulgaria, there's Greece, Albania, the Illyrian Empire, they're guaranteed their independence by the Kingdom of Bohemia. We have Austria, there's the Kingdom of Bohemia, and they have something going on with the Illyrian Empire and the Legion of Romania. Now getting into Italy, we have the Socialist Republic of Padania, the Vatican, very big Vatican, they're part of the Axe faction, and they're a puppet of the Socialist Republic of Italy in the southern part of the Italian peninsula. They also control, they control Sardinia, and here is Switzerland, there's the French state, here's the Spanish Empire, there's Portugal, here is the British Empire, and they're ultra-nationalist, and they control all the British Isles. Essentially, here's Denmark and Greenland and Iceland. And going over to North America, we have Canada, then Mexico, and 
They are vanguardist. Here's Guatemala, Honduras. Guatemala took over British Honduras in failure, right? It looks like by 1936. I mean, to be fair, the British Empire did kind of collapse. There's El Salvador. We have Nicaragua. There's Costa Rica. Panama, the whole Central American gang is here. And now we have Cuba. There's Canadian Jamaica. There's Haiti. The Dominican Republic. All right, then. And then lastly, we have the Confederation of America. Not the Confederacy of America, just the Confederation of America. Although they do use the flag of the Confederacy, it looks like. And we have the United States led by FDR. And with that, this has been Felia Reich, aka Felia Reich Stalemate. You can check out this mod if you like it in the video description. The link to it is there. What do you think of it? Tell me in the comments section below. And after you do that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications.